Hey Morgan, hope you had a good day today. I got home from work a minute ago. Thought I'd check in to see how you were. Ah, you're such a sweetheart, Ken. I'm doing great, thanks. I just got done eating dinner, and I was about to take a bath right now. How about you, Ken? Did you have a good day at work? Yeah, no complaints. A lot of the same old, same old. Hey, I actually also wanted to talk to you about tomorrow. We're meeting at the station at 12, right? Yep. My parents' house is within walking distance of there. Meeting up at 12 will be perfect. Okay, gotcha. Man, really, really nervous. You've got nothing to worry about. My parents are nice, and I've told them nothing but good things about you. Oh, great. Thanks for setting the hurdle high for me. It's not like you to be so stressed about something. It's okay, Ken. You're a good guy. Just be you, and everything will be fine. I know, but it's just... Well, I'm about to ask your father for his daughter's hand in marriage. How can I not be nervous? Hmm. I guess when you put it like that, I see your point. I remember the first time I met your parents. I could barely sleep the previous night. Right? Now imagine that stress multiplied by a hundred. That's how stressful it is for guys in the same situation. It's way scarier for men than for women to meet their fiancé's parents. Really? Why do you say that? What am I going to do if I'm talking to your dad and he starts telling me, You don't deserve to marry my daughter. <laughs> Seriously? Ken, that is never going to happen. I know my dad. He wouldn't do that to us. How can you be so sure? You always tell me how much your dad spoiled you. What if I'm not the kind of guy he wanted for his precious little princess? Okay, for the record, my dad has never called me his precious little princess. <laughs> Second, he just loves me like any father would, I'd say. Most importantly, he loves me enough to trust my judgment. I'm glad you're confident anyway. Meanwhile, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. Ken, listen to me. It's going to be okay. You trust me, don't you? Well, I'm telling you, you don't need to stress out over meeting my parents. Alright, that's what you say. Guess I'll hit the sack a little early after dinner and a shower. Do whatever you need to do to relax, okay? Send me a text when you wake up in the morning. Will do. Love you. See you tomorrow. Hey, Ken. Thanks for coming by today. Oh, and I should let you know that you made a fantastic first impression. Both my mom and dad are raving about what a fine young gentleman you are. Really? Phew, that's a relief. I did want to ask you, though. Are you feeling all right? You started seeming a bit under the weather after we were talking for a while, and you were making trips to the bathroom every 15 minutes. What's the matter? Did all the stress get to your stomach? <laughs> well... I don't know. I just wasn't feeling well, that's all. That doesn't sound good. Is something wrong? No, it's fine now, really. I'm sorry. I guess I didn't realize how many bathroom trips I was taking. Now, um, a bit of a change in the conversation, but I wanted to talk to you about our wedding. Oh yeah, what's up? Did you find a venue you were interested in? Tell me, tell me! I am so stoked to go around shopping for a venue with you. No, it's not about the venue. It's about your parents. I was thinking that it would be for the best if we didn't invite your parents to the wedding. What? What are you saying, Ken? This is rather sudden. Trust me, it's for their own good. Wait, now you're making even less sense. How is it for my parents' own good not to invite them to our wedding? Did they say something to offend you today or something? If that's it, I wish you'd be more specific. No, it's not that they did or said anything wrong at all. It's not even their fault. It's just that my parents are, well, they're kind of the elitist about a lot of things. I mean, they're both Ivy League graduates, and they sent me to an Ivy League university too. My grandpa is the chairman of the board of directors of his own company. So, yeah, they're pretty elitist about who they hang around with. I don't get it, though. Your parents knew about what sort of family I came from, and they gave us their blessing to get married, didn't they? If they were really that concerned about my parents' educational and work background, don't you think they would have said something sooner? That was because it was you, though. Your parents may not have, 
but you went to one of the most exclusive private universities in the state. And after graduating, you started working right away for a Fortune 500 firm. Even if what you're saying is correct, they're still my parents, Ken. I love them. They've done so much for me over the years. I appreciate how hard they worked to raise you, but neither of them ever even went to college. I don't think my parents are aware of that. And they're working in some factory in town, right? Some factory? Don't tell me your parents' elitism is rubbing off onto you. I really need to watch my phrasing. That's not what I meant at all. Sorry. Like I said, all my family are college graduates. Our parents are all sitting at the same table during the wedding, so they're inevitably going to talk about stuff. Whenever two guys meet, their job and career path always comes up first. I'm terrified of how those conversations might go. I'd hate for your parents to get hurt by an insensitive comment from one of my family members. I'm telling you, they can be super elitist at times. I don't think my parents are soft enough to have their feelings hurt by comments about their work. And as long as you're there to stick up for them, I don't see what the problem would be. Yeah, obviously I'm going to do my best to keep tabs on them and redirect the conversation if need be. But again, I'm worried about them having their feelings hurt. And I'm telling you that it won't be a problem. We're not going to be able to babysit your parents 24-7 during the reception, Morgan. It's our wedding. We're the stars of the show. This is going to be our only wedding ever. I really don't want to ruin it. You don't want to come out of our wedding with bad memories of the whole event, do you? Honestly, Ken, I have no idea what's gotten into you. I've never heard you say something so unthoughtful or uncaring before in all the time we've been together. Please, Morgan, you've got to understand. This isn't what I think, it's what my parents think. I would so, so much rather not be having this conversation. That's all there is to it. My parents are elitist. Be that as it may, I still don't get why we can't invite my parents to our wedding. You seem like you're in agreement with me that your parents' elitism is wrong. Why not do something about them? I've tried, Morgan, so, so many times. I'm only telling you this right now because I've been thoroughly convinced that there's nothing I can do to change their minds. Ken, there is no way I'm going to plan a wedding without inviting my parents. I know that you must be thinking I'm the biggest jerk in the universe right now. Yeah, you're not too far off the mark. Look, tell you what, I'll go take one more stab at getting my parents to lay off, okay? I'll tell them that they are not allowed in any circumstance to say any kind or untoward things toward your parents. I don't know, Ken. Are you sure that's even necessary? Do you think you're making a big deal out of nothing here? No, trust me, Morgan. I'm 100% positive that this is the best way to move forward. And seeing how much they love you... I'll bet they can put up with your parents for just one night. Put up with my parents? Is this some kind of joke? What is so bad about not going to college? I'm on your side, Morgan. I hate it. It's 100% ridiculous. But that's you and me. There are a ton of people out there who are massive raging elitists. And that's their problem. Not mine or my parents. I don't see how this connects to barring my parents from our wedding. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even brought it up. Let's put this conversation aside for a while. In the meantime, I'll take care of things on my end. This conversation is not over, Ken. I know. I just told you. We can put it on hold. I should have told you about my parents before now. This is my final word on the topic, Ken. I don't care what you say. My parents are coming to our wedding. And if your parents or other family members say anything unkind to them, I'll give them a piece of my mind personally. Ken, we need to talk. Have you been talking with my parents lately? Huh? What do you mean? Did something happen? What do they say to you? They're telling me that they decided not to come to our wedding. What? But... Why? That's what I'd like you to explain. Ken, did you talk to my parents about what we discussed the other day? You know, your parents' elitism? No, I didn't say a single word. I couldn't possibly say something that cruel to your parents. Okay, well then what about your parents? You told me you were going to tell them about my parents, right? 
Is it possible that your parents went around our backs and told my mom and dad not to come? No, I don't think so anyway. And just so you know, when I had the talk with them, they said they were still fine with the arrangement because of your educational achievement. That, and after the wedding, they wouldn't be interacting at all that much anyway. For my part, I told them to keep the truth about your parents' background a total secret from the rest of the family. Then what's going on? Did they tell you anything else? Like, did they give you a reason they weren't coming? They said your family was full of so many high achievers, they'd be embarrassed to be in their company. Wait, that doesn't make sense. How would they know about that? Did you tell your parents about my family's elitism? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I didn't do that. Yeah, I didn't think you would. I guess maybe really just as simple as that. Maybe they're really just embarrassed. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but my grandpa's company has a ton of influence in the area. My uncle is serving as the CEO right now, but my dad is going to take over the position in the near future. And after he retires, I'll be the obvious next in line. That means you're going to be the wife of a powerful businessman. My parents aren't the kind of people who would change how they behave around a person based on their education or career. Well, maybe they meant they thought it would be embarrassing for you, not them. They might not have any problem taking the heat themselves, but I can see why they feel differently if they embarrass their own daughter. I will never be embarrassed by my parents. I know! God damn it! Did it again. I'm so sorry, Morgan. I keep picking the absolute worst way to express myself about this. But in my honest opinion, it seems like your parents might have some kind of inferiority complex. Like, the opposite of my parents. Oh, you think so, huh? Well, I'm terribly sorry to have to say this, but I'm starting to feel like it may be for the best to call off the wedding. Morgan, don't talk like that. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to see you walking down the aisle towards me. Bouquet in hand, white dress flowing gracefully behind you. I want to swear our vows of our eternal love to one another in front of all our friends and family. All of them? What about my parents? There's still plenty of time until the wedding. All that we've decided on so far is the venue. I think if we just give it some time, your parents will decide to come after all. They seem like they were pretty determined when I talked to them. Alright, then I'll go and talk to them personally. Really? Really? I'll go and do my best to convince them to come. But can you promise me one thing? If even after my best effort, they refuse to change their minds, will you respect the decision not to come? Ken! I mean, at that point, what else is there for us to do? Do you want to force them to come to the wedding? That wouldn't be enjoyable for either you or them. Yeah, I guess. Alright. Then I'll go down there on my next day off and talk to them. Are they freed this Saturday? I think so. I'll check. Thank you for doing this, Ken. I don't deserve your thanks, Morgan. This is all my fault. I should never have brought up the stupid topic in the first place. This is me taking my responsibility for my own mistake. I really want your parents to come, so I'll write the best speech they've ever heard. Okay, I'll let them know you're coming then. I know you're busy as it is with your job. You didn't need to add one more thing onto your plate. Hey, Morgan. I got amazing news. I just got a call from the wedding venue. They told me that they just got a cancellation for the date we had picked out as our first choice. Great. Morgan? Are you still mad about that? I wish you wouldn't take this out on me. Your parents are the ones who are to blame here. How so? Do I have to say it? I hadn't even said one single stinking word to your dad when I got to their house that day. And what was the first thing he said to me? Get out! All I wanted to do was ask him to come to the wedding. And frankly... If that's the attitude that he's going to have around me, then I'm glad they're not coming. I think I called it right a few weeks ago, Morgan. They've got some crazy inferiority complex. You've got some nerve talking about my parents like that. In my honest opinion, Morgan, your dad really pissed me off. 
I'm putting my foot down. They are not coming to our wedding. That's fine with me. I won't be coming either. What? What do you mean you won't be coming? I mean just what it sounds like. The wedding is off, Ken. What? Why? Have you completely lost your mind? You really don't know? Well, I do. I know everything, Ken. I know what's really going on. Huh? I saw the way the color drained from your face when you found out that my parents never went to college and worked in a factory. You gave me this whole speech about how your parents were the elitist. But the truth is that you're the one who's the elitist. And that's why you didn't want them to come to the wedding. That's not true. I told you, Ken, I know everything. You told my parents that they weren't allowed to come to our wedding. You and my mom exchanged contact information when you came over to introduce yourself, right? They showed me all the texts you've sent them since then. What? They showed you my text? Well, no. Actually, I took their phones when they weren't looking and saw for myself. They refused to tell me anything and I wanted answers. You said so many terrible things to them. How they were human trash, low IQ drones, blue collar bums, and that you never wanted to see their faces again after the wedding. No, Morgan, you don't understand. I didn't want to send those messages. My parents made me send them. Sorry, but I covered all my bases, Kevin. I talked to your parents personally, and they said they had no part in it. As a matter of fact, they're also denying what you said about them being elitist. They're here at my parents' house right now to apologize to them for everything that's happened. Would you like to come by too? What? My parents are over there now? They told me they wanted to see your text for themselves, so this engagement is over. I'm breaking up with you. Hold it right there. You're breaking up with me? You can't do that. You already accepted my proposal. That means you love me. I thought I did when I said yes. But now I can see that I never knew the real you. I can't believe you were insulting my parents behind my back. Morgan, please hear me out. I'm going to be the CEO of my grandfather's company one day. Don't you know what that means? That means that I'm going to have all the eyes of the industry on me and my family. I don't want people to find out that I'm related to people like your parents. So that's why you tried to force them out of our lives? I don't agree with that choice of words. I was simply encouraging them to exercise restraint and not associate with us in public. That you can say something like that so casually is exactly why I can never be with you. You can't do this to me, Morgan. I'm in love with you. You're intelligent, beautiful, talented. You've got it all. I could take you around in high-class circles without worrying at all you'd embarrass me. I feel proud to be the man you said yes to. I didn't say yes to you so I could be your trophy wife, Ken. That's not what a marriage is. And if you like the finished product you see in me today, you should be a little more respectful to my parents. They're the ones who made me this way. They're the two most important people in the world to me, and you treated them like trash. Worse than trash, even. My dad had every right to throw you back out into the street when you tried to convince him to come to the wedding. Morgan, I am so, so sorry. Really, I was a total idiot. I apologize. And I also realize now that I behaved unacceptably towards your mom and dad. I want to make it right to them. I want them to be at the wedding. So please, can you find it in your heart to forgive me? I could never share my life with someone who so cruelly looks down on people because of their education or work history. We're through, Ken. Please, Morgan, I'm begging you. Give me another chance. I will never mock your parents ever again, I swear. I believe you. You do? Really? Yeah, I know for a fact you're never going to be terrible to my parents again, because you're never going to see them again. Or me. I am so, so glad that I discovered the truth about you before we got married. I wouldn't be able to take you anywhere, high class or otherwise. You're too embarrassing to be associated with, so never show your face around me again. After that, Ken rushed right over to my parents' house. He got down on his knees, crying his eyes out, and begged my parents to forgive him for everything he'd said and done to them. Ken's parents were there at the time, too, so he ended up getting a grand total of four lectures that day, one from each of them. He can apologize and beg and plead all he wants, but my mind's made up. There's nothing that he could ever do to get me to forgive him. 
After the lectures were finished, they sent Ken out of the room to have a talk with each other about how to move forward. When they called him back in the room, their decision was unanimous. They could no longer give their blessing to our marriage. My parents had put some money down to reserve the wedding venue for us, and Ken is going to pay them back for that. By the way, remember what Ken was saying about inheriting his grandpa's company? Well, he's actually working there right now. Apparently, he's such a lousy worker that they would never consider him for the role of CEO. All he does all day is try to push off his work to people who he found out graduated from less prestigious universities than he did. Everyone hates him. He managed to turn the whole family against him with the way he slandered them, so I doubt he'll be making any big career advancements anytime soon. He was always a kind, gentle, and loving person to me. I was so utterly shocked to see his true face. I can't tell you enough how lucky I am that I managed to dodge that bullet. We had quite a few shared friends, so word of our breakup spread fast. That means Ken's reputation is following him around, not just at the office, but now in his private life too. He's so broken up about it, all that he never leaves his room anymore, except for work. As for me and my parents, after Ken paid them back for the wedding venue deposit, they decided they wouldn't feel right throwing it all back into their savings account. They wanted to erase any connections they ever had to him, including that money. So, they decided they would spend it all on a nice vacation, and were kind enough to invite me to tag along. I feel so sorry for all the trouble I put them through. I can't imagine how much it must have hurt to hear their own daughter's fiancé belittle them like Ken did. But I think any sadness they had over his treatment of them is far outweighed by their relief that we're officially broken up. The vacation was wonderful, by the way. We actually did kind of a nostalgia vacation. We picked out a bunch of places we visited and wanted to visit back when I was young and went to as many as we could. As far as my personal life goes, I can't really bring myself to think about falling in love again right now. But one of the most important lessons I've learned from this experience is that if I ever do marry again, that man is going to have to be just as respectful to my parents as he is to me. <laughs>